In another universe, I'm James. And in another universe, I'm Brad Pitt. Yeah, it's true. Um, let's talk about scientific anomalies that uh, hint at or possibly prove the existence of these parallel universes in which James is a heartthrob movie and television star. As if I'm not already. <laughs> To start us off today, let's talk about what exactly a parallel universe is and how they came to be known as mirror worlds. A parallel universe, simply put, is a universe that is similar to our own but also incredibly different. They exist alongside our own but follow their own unique set of laws and physics. They are endless and cover every possible scenario that could ever happen in the history of ever and beyond. I sound like Buzz Lightyear. They could be almost the exact same as our own with the different of one person wearing a blue shirt one day rather than a red one. Or they could be vastly different with oceans and lands existing in completely opposite geographical locations and gravity pulling us up instead of keeping us down. Conversations regarding fate and the nature of free will turn pretty much upside down when the idea of a parallel universe gets involved. It's confusing and overwhelming but not entirely inconceivable, suggesting that scientifically they definitely don't not exist. And here comes James with an explanation of why they probably do, other than the fact that they definitely don't, don't. You get it. Why exactly is our universe expanding? Well, a recent study by the Journal of Cosmology and Astroparticle Physics may have an explanation and it relates to parallel universes. The universe is always expanding and most scientists believe dark energy is behind the growth. but. Dark energy has never actually been directly observed. A recent study published in December of 2023 by researchers from the University of Copenhagen and the Tokyo Institute of Technology put forward that our universe might be expanding because it's merging with baby parallel universes, almost like our universe is this cosmic blob absorbing other smaller universes, kind of like Galactus. Physicist Jan Ambjorn explained that, quote, the accelerated expansion of our universe caused by the mysterious dark energy might have a simple, intuitive explanation, the merging with so-called baby universes, and that a model for this might fit the data better than the standard cosmological model. Obviously, this is theoretical, but it is interesting and would explain some things. For example, it could explain the rapid inflation of our universe that it experienced right after the Big Bang. Scientists have always believed this inflation was caused by a hypothetical field called the inflation, but the new study suggests that our universe, when it was just a baby, could have been absorbed by another older universe, invites the suggestion that this expansion was caused by a collision with a larger universe. That is, it was really our universe which was absorbed in another parent universe. Next up, we have the scientific anomaly of dark matter, which scientists have recently begun to theorize could possibly create, or have already created, invisible parallel universes. You see, a long time ago, scientists discovered Neptune after noticing gravitational anomalies affecting Uranus, causing it to move in a strange way. Since then, scientists have noticed many stars and galaxies moving in ways that don't quite make sense, but unlike the discovery of Neptune in regards to the strange behavior, scientists have not been able to find any quantifiable reason for the anomaly, and so they theorized that there must be some kind of invisible force pulling on the stars and galaxies, the invisible force likely being dark matter. It is believed that dark matter is made up of tiny particles that have limited, if any, interaction with one another. Basically, it's the complete opposite of regular matter. The particles are shy, so shy in fact that they actively push things away from them rather than pulling things towards them. This is the same force that scientists believe is causing the universe to expand. But wait, there's more. Scientists theorize that it is possible that dark matter is not actually as boring, a relative term, as it seems, and that it might possibly contain an entire sector of hidden particles and possibly even a hidden that is an exact copy of ours containing hidden versions of electrons and protons which together create hidden atoms and molecules which combine to make hidden planets, animals, stars, and possibly even people. It's out there, for sure. but. According to the theory, so is at least one, if not countless, parallel universes. Next up, we have a very strange story about a couple whose neighbor had just recently died, but then they saw him just a couple months after reading his obituary. 
Did they jump into a parallel universe? You be the judge. The story comes to us from Reddit user Y Tay Bay. The redditor and his wife worked in the same building, so they often walked to work together. One morning they left the house, they passed by the doctor's office because his wife had an appointment. She stopped there and he continued on to work. Nothing unusual. Now on his route, the user noticed a familiar face in the distance. It was an old Italian man who used to sit outside his apartment, greeting neighborhood commuters. But the eerie part was, the man had died a couple months before. The Redditor crossed the street, convincing himself that it was just a lookalike. He saw the man, he knew he was dead, but dismissed it as maybe a mistaken identity. He thought nothing more of it and continued to work. Now at work, his wife called, sounding concerned. She said, I think I'm hallucinating. She explained she had seen their dead neighbor, sitting in his usual spot just like the husband had seen. The Redditor found this strange since he'd been reading about switching dimensions. He didn't tell his wife about it because it seemed too out there, but she suggested they might have switched dimensions. Something she would normally never say. So you're probably thinking, sure, the man they saw may have been a look-alike, but here's where it gets even stranger. They'd gone to the neighbor's funeral, seen social media posts mourning his death, but now they couldn't find any trace of him having died. Next up, kind of going off of James's point, while it's not entirely scientific, it is incredibly interesting, it is the Mandela Effect. But I am not just talking about the whole Berenstein, Berenstain Bears debate, or even whether or not Curious George had a tail, or if it was ever in the city rather than and the city, or if it's spelt Febreze or Febrez. It's spelt Febrez, by the way. Or Skechers or Skechers, or if the Monopoly man had a monocle or no monocle. If the Fruit of the Loom logo ever had a cornucopia, if it's called Cheese its or Cheese It, or even if the fact that Chartreuse is actually a shade of green, not magenta, as we all remember being taught in our past. I'm talking about these Mandela effects that might have very well changed your life as you know it. Like, you incorrectly remember remembering a dead neighbor, or the results of an election and the events that played out after the fact, or recalling different laws or policies that you can distinctly remember being enacted but that in reality never existed. If you've ever experienced anything like this on a personal level and none of your friends or family can remember the events in question, you might just be in the wrong universe. But don't worry, we're happy to have you. This next story also comes to us from Reddit from a user living for you 95 who talks about her glasses mysteriously changing color. So in 2018, the Reddit user bought blue framed glasses from Walmart. She had blue vans, a blue purse, tried to get as much blue stuff as possible, including the blue glasses. After having a baby a couple years after, she started feeling the blue glasses were a bit childish. She stopped taking selfies in them, but still wore them every day. Now, one day while driving home, the Redditor looked in the rear view mirror and was shocked to see her glasses were now black on the front with only the sides being blue. She thought, like, what the heck? Did my husband prank me on April 1st and I just hadn't noticed? So she texted her husband, who assured her that he wasn't pranking her. She texted her mom asking what color her glasses were. Her mom said, blue, why? The Redditor then texted her mother-in-law, who also said they were blue, and her best friend from middle school confirmed, saying, I know they were blue. We were together nearly every day for two years. They were blue. The Redditor insisted they never got new glasses. They even checked old pictures on Instagram, Facebook, and her phone, and now, suddenly, all the glasses in the pictures were black and blue. And it's odd that people wouldn't have noticed this, because that black is pretty predominant on there. Next up, we have cosmic background radiation and how it might be hinting at not only a parallel universe, but one that may have very well bumped heads with our own. In a distant region of space towards the constellation of Viridanus, cosmic background radiation showed evidence of a large hole in space. Yes, a literal hole in space, completely void of all types of matter, including normal matter, which makes up gas and dust, stars, planets, and galaxies. This spot, it's completely empty, and it's incredibly massive, measuring one billion light years in diameter, making it one of the largest voids discovered to date. For comparison, the previous record holding void was only somewhere between 250 and 330 million light years in diameter. 
Well, some scientists have begun theorizing that the newly discovered void, in correspondence with the other void located in the opposite hemisphere, could have been created by another universe bumping into our own and either displacing or destroying a large chunk of matter within our universe, which is terrifying. Yeah, that's. Next up, we have an interesting theory involving math. Never thought I'd use the words math and interesting in the same sentence, but here we are. Maybe I've switched universes. The mathematical multiverse theory suggests different mathematical structures might represent separate universes. Since there are infinite mathematical possibilities, there could be infinite universes. So think of our universe as being made entirely of math, a huge cosmic equation, everything we see and experience from tiny particles to massive galaxies, they can all be broken down using mathematics. So according to this theory, different mathematical structures create different universes, each, each with its own unique set of rules. Basically, if a mathematical structure can exist, so can a universe based on it, in theory. Next up, we have quantum mechanics, which very existence suggests the possibility of endless parallel universes. For those of you who don't know, quantum mechanics is a branch of mechanics that provides a mathematical description for motion and interaction within subatomic particles. Concepts like quantization of energy, how much an electron can radiate or absorb, wave particle duality, that anything can either be described as a wave or a particle, the uncertainty principle, the fact that we cannot know both the position and speed of photons and electrons with perfect accuracy, and the correspondence principle, the limit of large quantum numbers causing predictions of quantum physics to mirror classical physics can all be used to hint towards a theory of many worlds multiverse, in which the universe splits into multiple branches anytime any decision is made anywhere by anyone. Basically, any outcome of any event exists in its own separate universe. What's interesting about this is that it also might solve the time travel debate in relation to the bootstrap paradox as well as the grandfather paradox, which if you've never heard of, we have a video on. And the reason why it solves this debate is because it states that if you go back and change something in the past, you have haven't actually changed anything in your own universe, just simply gone and created a new one. All right, finally, we've covered countless unexplained disappearances on this channel from across time. Some are individuals who mysteriously vanish. Some are mass cases of vanishings, like on planes or ships. But what does this have to do with parallel universes? Well, of course, you know, there are tons of possible explanations for people going missing. Flawless kidnappings, their bodies ending up in places that just don't get searched. Alien abductions, probably the most likely. But what about the possibility of them having crossed over to a parallel universe? It sounds pretty far-fetched, but I mean, who really knows? Maybe all these people saying they feel like they've crossed over into a different reality because things are different than they remembered really have crossed over into a different universe. And their friends and loved ones in their original universe are desperately searching for them to no avail.